someday we're gonna find a hotel with a name that's pronounceable. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Opened in late 2009, the Vidara Hotel and Spa at Aria is a non-smoking, non-gaming Vegas resort. Just a block off the strip, located a short walk away from the Aria, the hotel is a popular destination for conventions. As a bit of an extension of the Aria, the Vidara is also heavily modern art themed and influenced and serves as a quiet, clean, and often more economical alternative to the Aria proper. Spinners and Sharks, and here we are inside the Vidara Hotel and Resort, Las Vegas. So, we are back here. There you got the Silk Road area there. This is where you get in a little bit more meeting space. Not open right now, but it doesn't really matter because there are no conventions anyway. The property features the Vice Versa Lounge, of course, one of many Starbucks cafes slash restaurants. One of the smaller properties here. Uh, surprisingly, it does have 1,400 suites. It's an all-suite hotel attached directly to the Aria. If you physically go out those doors, you'll meet the Aria. And then back this way, there is a secret entrance that will carry you straight from the Bellagio or the Bellagio trams into the Vidare here. unique thing about Vidaria is that there is no casino on site. Their casino is at the Aria. So vice versa patio lounge right here. Currently the lounge is closed. It is normally open during the day, but unfortunately due to social distancing uh, protocols, we are not accepting reservations, and it won't be open until the weekends. Thanks for a nice spot, though. Find a bell desk off in the corner, as well as a little bit of waiting area for you to wait in case your room is late. Also through here features the convention area spacing. We've done this in the past, so I'll put a little bit of video over it. It is unfortunately closed now due to social distancing. If you're looking to check in to one of more than 1,400 rooms here at the Vidara, the front desk will check out that for you here. Then also, if you're interested in going up, the floors there, elevators, are right around here. It's also a small lounge, so you can wait and charge your phones also includes ports with USB and AC for your laptop. 
You also notice, ladies and gentlemen's rooms in that corner. Vice versa lounge is still the center, and most importantly, is the Market Cafe. Now, the Market Cafe is the most important feature of the property. It's open every day from 8 to, actually, there it is, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. And of course, this is where your in-room tablet orders are done. So if you order something from the tablet or do a pickup here, this is where you'd get it. Also worth noting that in-room tablet purchases are usually delivered by the R2-D2 robots that run around here. Now, if it's a large tray of food, they won't be able to do that. But if you just have a coffee and maybe some ibuprofen, they will zip it on up. But that's the Market Cafe at Vidara. And of course, if you need to take a break, you have a full set of chargers right down here. They have micro USB, USB-C, and lightning charger for all your Android and iPhone needs. The art and architecture of the hotel is actually pretty interesting, I do have to admit. I enjoy the pool area too, although it's pretty basic. Funny thing about the Vidara pool is that it actually has a built-in death ray. That's because the curvature of the building causes the sun to reflect at such an angle that it actually gets physically hot in the area, and they had to do some redesigns around that. And then here we are at the end of the property. But that's it, that's the Vidara. Yeah, there's not much to the property, unfortunately. I squeezed in as much extra as I could. If you just wanted a good basic overview of the property, this will pretty much do it. Also keep in mind the spa area is pretty nice. It's a multi-level spa area, so there's a little bit of that tossed in there too, but just not much else there is to it. It's only a hotel and there's no casino on site, so if you gotta get your casino itch, check out the Aria next door, and you can check out a video of that in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Although it's a slip, so it's probably gonna be the upper right-hand corner of the screen here. All right there, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's tour and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Next time we get back to Vegas, I've got a neat little tutorial that you guys might enjoy if you're a little more technically oriented. But until next time, though, this is Ace of Vegas signing off, and I'm wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. 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 Viva Ace of Vegas.